What's up guys, it's Olivia and welcome back to Pixar Editing Lab. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use filters. There are so many filters that we have, it can sometimes be overwhelming, so I'm gonna break it down for you. Let's get into the video. Before I start off this video, I wanna let you guys know that all of our filters and effects are also available on iOS. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything on web today. You can apply everything to the mobile app as well. First off, I'm gonna start off with some of our more simple filters. These are great for someone that wants to just slap a filter onto a photo, great for photographers. The colors are just a a little bit dull and flat so i'm gonna add the filter natural too i love this filter because it really enriches the colors it just kind of deepens them and also sharpens the photo at the same time as you can see the difference is very drastic already and you only added one filter but there's so many different directions you can go with for different moods for example i added tl2 and it kind of gives this aqua lighter color which really matches well with the ocean theme of the photo i went into fx and used film 4 it kind of has this blur with a little bit of grain but i love about our filters is you can personalize everything for example with this specific filter you can personalize the amount of noise that you want the distance or how blurry the photo appears the angle and the fade it makes everything super customizable which i love the next way you guys can use filters is for your product photos if you have a small business this is great i'm gonna go into blur and use our g blur filter again you can adjust and customize everything you can adjust the blur i added text for coming soon what i love about this combination of the blur and the text is that it kind of builds this anticipation for your product launch. This also works with our black and white filters. For example, I just popped on black and white, which is just simple, go to. What I love about the black and white filters is that it kind of has this sleek professional look. And lastly, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use filters for more fashion editorial photos. I'm going to go into artistic and choose motion. I love that it adds this kind of liveliness to the photo, especially because the model is walking. You can adjust the hue. You can also adjust the distance to make it seem like there is more movement the angle the noise the fade another fun filter that i think would be super cool for a fashion edit is our mirror filter i just think it's so fun for something editorial or like a magazine fashion brand it's just super fun and it does something a little bit different but super easy you just throw in a filter if you guys end up recreating any of these edits for your own photos make sure to tag us on our socials link down below because i want to see what you guys recreate and how you use filters don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel we upload new videos every single monday and wednesday and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.